Iniziamo ora a fare il sugo. La salsa pomodoro è pronta. Bellissima, è molto really nice. Prezzemolo tritato. Prezzemolo. Ma why is it in a little bowl? What is it doing in the bowl? La serviamo a parte. What? What did you just say? Did he say he served on the side? Apriamo con la cloche. Look how dry it is, look at that, look at the pasta. Dead in that little thing. Why well, well, would you do that? Per poi finire col pomodoro. Oppure fare completamente. Such a beautiful sauce wasted. In this video I'm reacting to the best Italian sauce you ever need. A video that was released on Italian Squisita, a very famous YouTube channel where famous Italian chefs are involved creating videos and creating and sharing their recipes on this channel. Are all the chefs sharing the right recipes with you? I don't know. Yes, they are Italian, but sometimes I think they are going way too far with Italian food. So this chef believes he makes the best tomato sauce. Let's find out. All right, so we are in Italy, so we assume, oh, wow, it's in Italy, it must be good. Let's see. Don't know what that is, but it looks nice. Pasta al pomodoro. Pasta with tomato sauce. Great. By the way, go and watch my video. I don't care what this video says, but I make a beautiful spaghetti with pomodoro. I use cherry tomatoes, I blend them with basil, extra virgin olive oil. Oh, a little bit of garlic, it's beautiful. Go and watch my video. I get the best out of the tomatoes. Watch my video. I use cherry tomatoes and I get the best out of them. Buongiorno, sono Paolo Lo Priore, il ristorante Il Portico ad Appiano Gentile, che non è nient'altro dove poi sono nato a Piano Gentile. Right, this guy is very proud, he's born from there, he's got a nice restaurant in his hometown. Gentile, il mio paese. La cosa che mi entusiasma oggi è parlare con voi della salsa al pomodoro. All right, he's very proud of his sauce. In Italia determina il cuoco più bravo. True, true, true. Well, I make an amazing one. I, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm very modest. You guys, if you know me by now, you know I am modest. I don't really speak high about me, but my pasta pomodoro, made with cherry tomatoes, it's um, amazing. Really, one of the best I ever even eaten in my life. Oggi ho scelto una penna liscia. Per gli italiani non è che c'è molto feeling con la penna liscia. Sarà perché forse. Yeah, for some reason I don't love. I don't love the smooth penne, I like penne rigate, with, you know, get with carved, you know, I, 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 for some reason I am not a big fan of the smooth penne, I wonder why, what is he saying? È morbida, ma allo stesso tempo un po' farfallona, però nella consistenza in bocca credo che se ha una salsa al pomodoro molto ridotta vicino, può dare una... What is he doing? Why is he not mixing the sauce with the pasta? What is that? What the hell are you doing, man? Di masticazione. The sauce looks nice. I don't know what the herbs are, what kind of herbs are they? But yeah, they look nice. Pasta al pomodoro. Per farla tutto l'anno scelgo un pomodoro pelato. Yeah, it's a good choice because you need peeled tomatoes, Italian peeled tomatoes. In the can, they actually stay fresh, they're actually good. So peeled tomatoes from the can is a great product. Of course you need to find an Italian one, a good one, but it is a very good product. Cherry tomatoes in the supermarkets are available all year round, so you can use those, that's what I normally do. But the peeled tomato is a great, amazing uh, tomato to use all year round. And I make a beautiful basil tomato sauce with peeled tomatoes. Diciamo confezionato. Credo che il pomodoro fresco soltanto il mese di agosto può donare una vera salsa al pomodoro. E non credo neanche in questa zona d'Italia. Vicino. Because it's from the north part of Italy. Parma is famous for lots of uh, tomato sauce production, like many brands like Mutti's from there. But the best tomato tomatoes, in my opinion, come from the south. You know, the Napoli, Naples region, uh, Sicily, Abruzzo, Calabria, um, Puglia, amazing, you know, and Basilicata. Fino al pelato, aggiungo olio stravergine di oliva, sale, pepe e aglio. Yeah, great ingredients. Nell'aglio uso una tecnica tutta mia, che è quella di grattugiarlo alla pelle di squalo. È la grattugia che i giapponesi usano per la radice di wasabi. Amazing, I like that. I like because the garlic will disappear in the sauce. The garlic will disappear in the sauce, so you won't really have the chunks of garlic. I love it. I love it. I love crushing garlic. But this technique, it's good. So basically, you have to buy a Japanese wasabi root. Quasi l'aglio schiuma, grattugiandolo sulla grattugia, 
e questa cosa è anche importante nel momento in cui io vado a soffriggere nell'olio perché essendo sminuzzato tutto alla stessa taglia non ho dei momenti dove l'aglio mi brucia perché è più fine o l'aglio rimane crudo per Amazing, amazing technique, I like it. Che è più grosso, come potrebbe capitare. See the details, important details, very good. I, I, I like to crush it and it's pretty much the same thing. I use a garlic crusher and it, uh, it doesn't burn, I cook it for about 30 seconds and then I add the sauce. And it kind of disappear in the sauce. Per cui ho questa cottura omogenea e veloce e non lascio nessun residuo di sapore. I like this using a terracotta pot, that's a very nice touch. Utilizzo una pentola di coccio. Per nice. che è, credo che il coccio sia importante per la traspirazione che dà alla salsa di pomodoro il filo d'olio amo aggiungerlo sempre sulle pareti voglio che scivola all'interno per far sì che comunque continui ad andare fino al centro e non fa attaccare la salsa di pomodoro yeah, I'll put the oil first I'll put the oil first a lot <laughs> and then garlic and then the sauce straight away with the tomatoes nel momento in cui scaldo il mio coccio I'm not a big fan of putting peeled tomatoes in the pan like that. I personally like to crush it by hand or just with a crusher or even blend it quickly. I think it's important to do. I know lots of chefs do this. Lentamente aggiungo il pomodoro pelato, schiacciandoli sempre man mano che li aggiungo. Right, okay, so he does it straight in the pan. That's all right, that's good then. So I guess what happens is the, the tomato warms up, probably easier to crush. Oh, good. È importante aggiungerlo lentamente perché? perché così non vado a creare uno shock termico con quello che può essere ingrediente calore. Wow, this chef really cares about the, the temperature and everything. Put salt. It's really taking its time, see? Taking his time, like it's so precise, it's so amazing that someone will be, be so careful with the sauce. Alla fine, amo sempre spegnerlo con un filo d'olio per addolcirla un po'. Per... I like how much she loves extra virgin olive oil, I love it. Per dargli quel sapore fresco che in questa ora o due ore o tre ore ha perso. Wow, he cooked it for three hours, incredible, wow. I never cook it that way, I cook it for about an hour, at the maximum, so... Wow. Non amo tanto creare il soffritto dentro quello che può essere... Eh, le... mm. Now we don't get along. Soffritto for me is everything. I love the soffritto. If I make a basil sauce, if I make a basil sauce, I use celery, carrot and onion, blend it, I make like a little cream and I cook the soffritto, but I want the soffritto to disappear in the sauce. I want the sauce, you know, that you don't know that the soffritto is there, okay? This one is not a basil sauce, Because you only got garlic as a soffritto, so what is that? La ricetta è sempre questo rimane dall'insegnamento marchesiano. Da soltanto quella piacevolezza iniziale, perché sentiamo lo sfrigolamento, il profumo della cipolla, del sedano, della carota, che però nel tempo danno poi qualcosa di consistente che non c'entra più niente col pomodoro. I don't agree, I don't use a lot, you know, like I use one carrot to, to for the sweetness. Maybe a quarter of onion and one stick or half a stick of, of celery. I think they had beautiful flavors. I, I disagree with you, I'm so sorry. I, I really care about my tomato sauce and I know that you're very good and everyone makes it the way they want. But I think the soffritto plays an important role. You just don't want to put too much. La pasta, che grande mondo. Pensate soltanto la bellezza del suo formato che può determinare il nostro umore giornaliero, no? Perché scegliamo. True. It's true, it's so important to choose the pasta because if, when you choose the pasta, and I've got lots of pasta, I've got about 30 different types of pasta in my pantry, okay? So when I have to make pasta, I carefully think, okay, what am I going to do today? What pasta am I using today? It's fascinating. Lo spaghetto, il fusillo, le farfalle, tutto quello che poi è stato creato <laughs> per noi. In 200 grammi di pasta, in preferibilmente 2 litri di acqua. I'm really struggling to understand why you guys like uh, penne lisce, smooth penne. Uh, maybe I have to try them again. Uh, but I know lots of you love it. So just write a comment below. Tell me why do you love it so much. Try to convince me because I never liked it. Maybe I need to try. I haven't eaten for maybe 10, 20 years. So maybe I'm 40 now. Maybe I like it.
Ma perché? Perché dobbiamo trovare la proporzione che vuole la ricetta classica, che è il rapporto è tra 1 e 10 per la cottura della pasta. Ma questo è importante perché? Perché mentre bolle, poi rilascia comunque una parte di amido e se lei continua a cuocere nel suo amido, avremo sempre questo sapore che non è mai pulito del grano, qui non è una pasta pulita. Pensate, e qui andiamo fuori dal concetto pasta, ma in quanti paesi del mondo lavano il riso prima di cuocerlo e tanti risottano la pasta per dei momenti dentro il suo sugo, per cui secondo le regole del sapore tu non hai più questa sfaccettatura ma hai questa rotondità, che è vero che la fa rendere golosa, ma che però non determina poi comunque quello che è il concetto di mangiare eh, la purezza del sapore. Interesting, very interesting conversation, a very uh, good point. What he's making is a good point. Do I agree with everything he said? E qua ci siamo. It's beautiful sauce. You didn't put any basil in there, so it's very basic, very, very basic. So you're really relying on the quality of tomatoes, really relying on that. So I would say a little bit of pepper. When it's finished, when it's finished to cook, I would say put some basil. And my thing, I put fresh basil. And I'd never chop basil, never. Nice, break with the hands, one leaf, cut into three or four pieces in there. And I like to leave the sauce overnight, so the basil will release all the flavors. Siamo a tre ore di cottura. Wow. It's very thick. Like, it's really, really, really thick. Iniziamo allora a fare il sugo. La salsa pomodoro è pronta. Bellissima, it's really nice. Really, really nice. Nella salsiera. I don't understand. Sorry, it looks beautiful, but come on, put some basil and pepper. pepper. You really don't have a soffritto, now put some basil in there, please. No, you need to put basil in there, so the basil will release all the flavors to the pot. Prezzemolo tritato. Prezzemolo. I'm really struggling to agree with you, chef, I'm sorry. You're a nice guy, I like how you speak, how you explain, but prezzemolo. You call this the real best tomato sauce? you will ever make, and then you put parsley. You were trying to convince me not to use soffritto, which I don't agree, but now you do this. Come on, where's the basil? Pepe nero. No, 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 the pepper is good to put now, yes, but per favore, the parsley is a no. No, I don't like it. No. Now why is it in a little bowl? What is he doing in the bowl? È un filo d'olio per rinfrescare. He used too much oil to refresh, refresh, refresh what? No, I don't at the beach. Oh, some bird, I need to refresh. I need a beer to refresh. What are you doing? You really put too much extra virgin olive oil. I want the basil. Come on. I feel like I'm in China or Japan, all these bowls. What's going on? Questo filo, quest'anima che c'è all'interno della pasta, che è l'amido, determina che la pasta è cotta bene. Amazing, amazing. I, I like to show you this little detail. Very important. La serviamo a parte. What? What did he just say? Did he say he served on the side? La serviamo a parte. What? We serve separate. What are you? You know in Italy, you can't do this. What do you mean you serve it separately? You cannot go anywhere in Italy and do this. Please don't say that. Bianca. What are you, what are you talking about? Just a filo d'olio. Angora with the oil. Too much oil. Uh, uh, this is too much. Uh, uh, uh. Put it in the paint with the sauce and mix it. What are you doing? You get a pan and, and, and do do the tossing, come on. La muoviamo un pochino. I understand why he was talking about the, the, the wash the rice before and this and that. What are you doing? The pasta is always always goes in the pan, in the saucepan, and toss it with the sauce. You need to make sure they make love together, my friend. This is a basic rule. I, don't, I can't allow people from around the world to watch this video 
And so an Italian guy does it, I can do it too. It's not correct. It's not correct. Copriamo con la cloche. An Italian chef does this, everyone can do it. Can you imagine how everyone in the world just finally learned how to, cook, how to boil pasta and mix it with the sauce? Now, thanks to you, everyone's gonna say, oh, what is this? Okay, now everyone starts doing this. Now watching this, I feel like I'm in Morocco, cooking with a tagine. Come on, guys. It's not a tagine. It's a pasta in Italy. We don't use the tagine to make pasta in Italy. E ci appoggiamo al pass. Era pinza Gianmarco. I can't believe I'm watching this. Honestly, I, I like this guy so much. I like this chef. I want to meet him. He's such a nice person to talk to. But now he does this and then stressing me out. I'm so sorry, but... I, I, I don't, don't want to go to a restaurant and get this served. Grana Padano. No, you toss it with the sauce, you add the Grana Padano, and then you bring more Grana Padano to the table. The salsa al pomodoro. Unbelievable. I can't believe I'm watching this. So now you at the table are meant to mix it together. Show, show, show me, show me what's next. And tell me why you didn't use basil. I need to understand this. Basil, basil and tomato and tomatoes go well together. Basil and tomato go well together. Caprese, basil, tomato. Pizza, basil, tomato. Pasta, basil, tomato. Sauce is basil. If I make arrabbiata, use parsley. This is not arrabbiata. A posto. Via pasta pomodoro. Unbelievable. It really has the Japanese restaurant style, I have to say. So maybe this guy spent too much time in Japan. Look how dry it is, look at that, look at that pasta. Dead in that little thing. Well, well, why would you do that? So sad. You can assaggiare the pasta in bianco, sentire the suo profumo. Ma che vuoi? I don't want that. I, want, I want a good quality pasta mixed with the sauce. I don't want to eat pasta on his own like that. If I want to eat pasta on his own, I just make it without sauce. Metterci un po' di formaggio e cominciare a complicare il suo sapore. No, 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 I like how you speak, but no, I disagree completely. Per poi finire col pomodoro. Oppure fare completamente... Such a beautiful sauce, wasted, beautiful sauce. When it's nice and warm, mix it with the warm pasta together. It's the most beautiful part, it's the most beautiful part for a chef. To mix it together, yeah, a three hour sauce. Making love with my pasta, beautiful. That's what the pasta brand is doing. Creating a pasta that goes perfectly with the sauce. Oh. Mentre il contrario, questa è la grande libertà che ti puoi avere a tavola. What a beautiful sauce, look at that beautiful sauce. Look at that thick, look at that, it's 100% tomatoes. Lots of oil, yes, but it's beautiful. You need basil in there. Che fondamentalmente è stata quella che noi... Look how thick it is, it looks like a bolognese, look how thick. Italia abbiamo sempre avuto, no? Tanto è vero che le nostre tavole sono sempre arricchite di cibo e dove non c'è nessuna regola. He said there are no rules, there's also rules in Italy, by the way, but I don't like this. I disagree with this. Disagree. I can't call this the best tomato sauce ever because it could have been a great tomato sauce with a basil or not. But like, serve like this? No. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, Paolo. Now the place is messy. Imagine going to the restaurant, you pay 40 euro for a dish like this. I'm assuming this restaurant is expensive and I have to make my, dirt, my plate so dirty. By the time I do that, the pasta is cold. Il bello della tavola italiana cos'è? Arriva la pasta. Prima la guardiamo. Che bella. Poi sentiamo il suo profumo. Poi incominciamo a mangiarla, ad assaggiarla e alla fine dobbiamo rilassarci per dire che okay. Yeah, that's what it is all about, but the pasta is beautiful, come there. I want a big bowl full of pasta like nonna, put it on the table, ah, serve and eat. Yeah, the most beautiful thing. Buona. Grandi pasta al pomodoro. Verbe scontato dire che quella che poi ho sempre portato a casa mia, nel senso la mia mamma. That's nice. He's saying that mama makes it. That's good. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad he said that. Guys, what do you think? I know that many of you like to do this. Put the pasta in the plate and the sauce on top. So what this guy is doing will make lots of you happy. I know that. But it's completely wrong. I've been saying for a long time. 
you get the sauce together. Get it nice and hot, warm. Put the pasta in. Toss it together. Make love together. Then you put it in the plate and eat it. It's important for, for all, all these ingredients to make love together. His point is don't put pasta water in the sauce. And I understand he made a beautiful three hour slow cooked sauce. He don't want pasta water in there. And I understand his point. Put extra sauce. Put extra sauce so it's nice and so the pasta can make more love. Even though I would have used a little bit of pasta water. At the same time, I don't think it's necessary to cook the sauce for three hours. That's me. That's me. Of course, is his creation and I believe in what he's saying and probably it's better. I can see it's very thick. See, if you don't mix the sauce with the pasta, I don't see the point of cooking this for three hours. I'm sorry. Please guys, share your opinion. Tell me what you think. This is the first video of Italia Squisita I'm reacting to and I've been impressed. So maybe I need to watch more videos and see. But today, I'm not impressed. Please share your thoughts with me, okay? Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. And I'll make your pasta you can't refuse.